Alright, and we are live. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Paranormal Corner with your host, Nikki Ray. And, um, I hope you guys are having a nice St. Patrick's month. So I decided to wear a little bit of ring. And I made my famous, uh, star, like a team star. It's, uh, dark green and silver. <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna make sure you guys see. Oh, hey, Facebook user, hello. Um, hold on, folks. And then I will bring my guest up shortly, as soon as I see you guys. Can you guys see and hear me okay before I do? You can hit, um, like, uh, yes. And everything's working and like that. Where am I? Where is my life? Alright. If you guys can share my live, please do so. Uh, I think I'm looking for it. Almost got it. Almost got it. Alright, alright. Where in the heck is my life? I'm looking for myself. <laughs> Let me know when you find yourself. It's crazy when you start talking to yourself and like, oh no, I'm when you answer yourself, that's the scary part. Here I am. Alright, so uh I'm gonna share, 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 share. I have a great guest waiting in the ring room. I mean it's okay. I'm gonna mute that one. Feel free to like, share all that magic stuff. <laughs> hey, I have a little leprechaun by me. It's not real though. But he brings me <laughs> He's my little leprechaun. Anyway, so uh, yeah, <sighs> yeah. My friend, my good friend, uh, Christian Holmes. We go way back. I mean, we used to investigate on live video. Even though, even though uh, we haven't really met in person, but I think and I hope this is the year we are all gonna meet our Facebook friends. I'm gonna manifest it. So, um, oh my goodness, okay, let me go to my paranormal corner group. Hey guys, shout out to you, Spirit Chasers, what's up, shout out to you guys, and, uh, I, and I really do appreciate y'all watching or listening, uh, let me know where you guys are from, oh my goodness, um, I think I have listeners all over the world is quite interesting. And, um, I'm trying to see more areas where I am live. Okay. And then, uh, you know what? I'm going to bring up the countdown and then we should be back with interview with my good friend Christian Helm. She is not only a, um, Psychic medium. I think she's more of a medium, like myself, and paranormal investigator. So that's why we have a lot of things in common. And I believe we're also Gemini's. Hey, everybody! Thank you for listening. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'm weird. Don't mind me, but I hope you guys love me. Hey, guy. Hey, hey. <laughs> as soon as I find that link, I will share it. But right now. If I see countdown, I will share that. Okay, I'll where to go. Huh, I see it, okay. We'll be back with Prison the Home interview and Q&A to bring your questions. And we are back. So, hey Bill, thank you for watching and listening. So, I uh, appreciate you all sharing all that magic stuff like I said before. Oh my god, I have to show you guys my little leprechaun guy. 
Oh my god, I had to see this thing. And this thing on the top is so well. That's why I had to share that since the paint pad first month. And yes, it works free. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna bring up my good friend, medium paranormal investigator, Kristen Holmes. How you What's doing? What's up, girlfriend? Not much. Long time no talk. Woo! I know, right? We gotta regroup. Seriously, we gotta regroup. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Sounds good. Long overdue, right? Even for this uh, real talk, whatever. I, right, yeah, yeah. I miss those days. Me too. Oh my gosh, I mean, I feel so old now. Like, oh my god, I miss those days. <laughs> 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 anyway, you want to tell us a little bit more about yourself and then we go from there and then hopefully we'll have yeah. some Q&A. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, uh, I'm in an active haunted house. Um, I live in Marinette Park, Illinois. It's a small town. Um, I'm surrounded by cemeteries. Sorry, you left. Okay. I mean, you just fast forward. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I, I'm surrounded more than dead than living, so to speak. I mean, I'm sure people would say, I feel like scared to live by, let's say, five minutes away from the cemetery. I mean, or do you get used to it over, after a while? Yeah, you do. You do. I, I, I live by me about mm, two blocks away from a cemetery. Damn. And it, they go back to, like, the 1900s. Yeah, we have a couple out here. There's one I know is, like, 1800. But that is, like... 20, 30 miles away from us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the closest one actually is like we're out here in Hibbit now, so it's like 15 minutes, give or take. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Man, my friend is so lucky, Ernest Stone, if they had him, Ernest Stone, um, they live in an apartment, full apartment, you know, complex, and they're right across the street, literally, from a cemetery. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, mean, I would love that. I'm so weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, getting back to, uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, all I don't know is someone that passed away in the house. I have, I don't know how to research the house, but someone did pass away. I think the guy's name is Ed. I can't confirm it. And, he still um, over once in a while. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, he does visit. I, I do have a noisy ghost. It's a, it is a <laughs> poltergeist. I like, as long as they visit and they return to you, I'm okay with it. Yeah. And there was, there's another ghost there, too. His name is Jack, right? We found out in one of our investigations. Uh, there's a Jacob. Jacob. And there's a female, I'm... too. Ugh. So, yeah, in any given time, we've got, uh, I, got I got EVPs from the house. I had uh, several people uh, investigated it. Um, I had um, my friend Stefan Miller. He, he investigated the house. And we had a full um, Class A EVP. Saying we had the, uh, uh, it was a question of who was the president of the United States. I remember that. Yeah, and and the um, voice on the tape recorder said, "I don't even know now." That's right, crazy. You just got it on just a recorder itself. Yeah, regular tape recorder. Wow. Yeah, and then um. There, there's a video out there from uh, Kenny uh, Zink that um, uh, they would play with a, um, a flashlight. I, I can't see the comment, so... I'm showing them for you. Okay. Bill says I'm here. <laughs> Hi, Bill. So, yeah, it would turn... It would turn on and off the flashlight, and Bill blew up the picture like a full body apparition in the picture. Oh, well, I, 
Did I see that? I can't remember if I did or not. Um, I'm sure you can look it up on YouTube, but I don't know how to look it up. It's 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 out there, but I don't know. Yeah, a lot of my YouTube videos get buried. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm a. I'm. Please forgive me. I'm a little new and I'm a little nervous. On. Uh, oh, don't be nervous. It's like we're talking to each other. Don't worry about anybody else. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's a little bit about the house. And if you like, I can show you how to restart the property and everything. Yeah. Because um, I'm kind of curious about myself. So. Me too. Me too. And I know. That, oh, go ahead. Go. I know this was built in like World War Two era, so it's over seventy years old. Wow. So I don't know how many owners before we got here. We've been here about fifteen years. So yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause, um, yeah. I know you're also nearby the uh, famous. You know, I'm gonna bring this up. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Bachelor's Grove Cemetery, right? Mm -hmm. And you guys right. have incredible evidence there. And it's not only just a cemetery, it's also a lot of land with trees, right? If I, and water. Yeah. And river, right? Uh, it's actually a lake. A lake. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, it's an old German cemetery. Wow. It had German settlers, and I, I think they helped build Illinois at one point. And there is a grave for infant daughter. And um, I, I did put a ball on the infant daughter because when my friend Stefan and her and his friend Patty came. And I asked, do, do, do I sh should I bring a ball? So the K2 meter lit up, like, yes. Whoa. <laughs> so I, I brought a ball so all the kids can play, you know, like, for the ball. Right. You know, that was one of my stories. And did they interact with the ball? Um, I, I didn't go back afterwards. I don't know. Um, but other people awesome. saw. Go ahead. That would I would say that would have been awesome to see. Yeah, I know. Um, other people saw that on YouTube too, and brought a ball too. No, so. maybe try to. Um, I like to call them cat balls. No, I think there's another word for it, and light up balls, whatever. But oh I yeah, yeah, cat, yeah. I call them cat balls. It might light those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can light it up. I never thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, Bless you. And allergies don't help my cedar. <laughs> yeah. So I was gonna ask, have you ever seen that famous apparition that was sitting on a what was it, a tombstone or no? No, but I heard that might might have been a hoax. I can't confirm it or deny it. Mm. Yeah. But my personal opinion I've I've seen a full body apparition. It was wow. at night and the moon was full. I was with two other people. And I don't drink, they don't drink. And all I remember this uh, lady in uh, Victorian garb and the eyes kind of look like a dolphin eye type eyes. Wow. And I happened to look back, and it was floating. I'm looking to see if it was like a projection on a booth or something. Nothing. And and my friends booked out. I'm still running and seeing this apparition coming, but it never left the cemetery. Wow. So it it, it stayed there. So that's how I got into the paranormal. I was just going to ask you, you know, that, too. <laughs> yeah. That would and... be like the most profound, <coughs> excuse me, most profound uh, paranormal experience, right? Yes, yes. And... 
that, 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 you know, ever since then, I was drawn to that cemetery. Yeah, they do draw you in. It's so weird. Yeah. But I feel like you're also a meaty, right? More, or are you more of a spicy yes. or a meaty or both? I feel that I'm both. both. Yeah. I'm so both. I, it's like wherever area we're drawn to, we we'll get some activity. Does that ever happen to you? Yes. That's crazy. And also at Bachelor's Grove years ago, I had an attachment there. Oh, wow. Well. After I saw that apparition, I had a, something <laughs> negative following me home. But I, I worked on it. I went through a Reiki practitioner to deal with the bad, bad junk that happened in my life. Hmm. Like the depression was real bad and everything. Yeah, they're easily drawn to that. Probably. Right. Before. Yeah. And I worked on it and it, it helped a lot. I'm also a Reiki practitioner also. Let me know if a question pops up and I'll be happy to answer. Well, then we got a hello, Nikki. I love you. How are you? Hey, Bruno. Welcome, guys. Welcome, Bruno. Yeah, I'm kind of fa fairly new to the paranormal, so. Bruno, girls. <laughs> Good night, yeah. good girl. He says good night. Good night, Bruno. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. So, getting back to Bachelors. Mm -hmm. I was with Bill, and I felt like someone was going to jump me, but I grounded myself, and it didn't happen. Right, and he's also the one that uses uh, investigate with you guys. And yes, I that's mean, who I do. Yes. I mean, you guys have such incredible evidence for you there. What would be the most profound evidence you guys would capture? In Bachelors or in general? Uh, how about both? <laughs> uh, Bachelors... It was, um... It's, it, it's hard to sit there and... pinpoint one at Bachelors. There, there were all good... What but would be, like, the most profound, like, or the strangest one that stuck out to you? When when that spirit tried to jump me. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, there was, like, no no ghost app or anything was running. Bill says I remember yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. And I did actually get scratched there. I had three scratch oh, marks. Wow. Bill was there. Yeah. And there's also a few... Haunts, spooks there, that is one. I was reading up on the uh, spooks there, and, and one in particular that got my attention was called a blue light. Are you familiar with that one? Yeah, I heard about it. I I know people that seen it. Me personally, no. My sister-in-law saw it. Well, so do you think that blue light should have been like an orb or a UFO type thing, or is it more of a spirit? I, I think it's an orb. I think it's more like spirits because um, back at, like in the gangster days, they would dump bodies back in there. Right, right. They would dump the bodies in the river, right? From the hall, right? It, it's actually a lake, like a lake. swamp lake. <laughs> I keep saying river. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, you're, you're thinking about Axman's Bridge. That's it. That's probably why. Yeah, two different locations. We'll get back <laughs> that in a minute, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we got some weird EVPs. Yeah. At the ask. like a um like a horse and carriage in the water. Oh wow! And, and then we would listen, and then we heard a whole bunch of gangsters talking on one of the apps. Oh, Bill says, "When were you struck?" Hmm? Bill, I think it's Bill. Um, he said, when did you get scratched? Uh, when I was with Bill. This was a couple years back. Right. Wow. It was like right time, on the wrist. Remember that one time? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. But, um, remember that one time, uh, 
you had that experience when you actually touched a tree and it like vibrated. Oh yeah, yeah, that that one what was, was that yeah. Like? I'm like <laughs> It was pulsating and it like it was weird. It it had vibrations to a tree. None of the other trees, because me and Bill felt it. And it was only that wow. one tree. I'm like, hey, Bill, come here, fill the tree. And he felt it too. And ever since then, we haven't felt it since. Was it like in the, in the other area, or just the, just the tree itself? The tree itself. It was. It's a pine tree. It's a huge pine tree. And it was absorbing the energy at that time. Possibly, yeah. Wow. I bet it felt like all tingling and everything. And that's what I feel whenever I, you know, touch something like that with the object. I think there's a there's a name for that. I can't remember it, it right now. It's not like static electricity. Mm -hmm. It was more like a pulsating vibration. Right, that's what Bill was saying. Yeah. He said the tree was vibrating. If I can read. The tree was vibrating and we asked two people to touch it. And they felt it too. So yeah, he yeah, remembered Yeah, that. other people that were around it, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I like it when we get validations from other people. It's like did you see that, or did you, see, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, so we're not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I learned to do that from a young, <coughs> from a young age. The reason why um, I want to go back to the blue light before we go back to the other location. Yeah. Um, the reason why I brought up the blue light, because that reminds me of my very first ghost orb encounter. Even though it wasn't blue, it was gold. Mm -hmm. And it came to me twice that same evening. So what does that tell you? Same shape of form. Mm -hmm. You know there's something there when it comes back to you the same time. Yeah. yeah. Someone was trying to tell you something. I think, to be honest, it might have been one of my angels. Could be, yeah. yeah. They're around me all the time. In fact, I got that picture this time. I actually got a picture. They're hard to get. And they vibrate at right. a certain level. And there's so much, you know, higher vibration, energy. Mm -hmm. And very rare you get their picture. So I'm going to show it to you later on. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's like, the I don't know, it's hard to explain, but yeah. That's one of my first experiences in the paranormal. And uh, besides, I have quite a few strange experiences myself. And, um, the other one was where I was sleeping in my great grandparents' room. And later on that evening, I felt something sat at the edge of my bed. Mm hmm And we think that could have been my great grandfather paying me a visit, you know, a visit. Yeah, it could be, yeah. And I kind of linked that to the, to the orb. It might have been him to visit me again. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't yeah, know, watching just... over you. <laughs> yeah, it's, pretty, it's one of my theories. <laughs> Getting back to the other question. Um, yeah. It again with Bill. We had a bad lightning and and um, thunderstorm, hmm. and we got some strange stuff on a, a ghost app when it was thunder and lightning. Oh wow, we we had conversations. I don't remember. Maybe Bill can type something in the comment. But we looked at each other and like, wow. I think he just did. Yeah, that tree is touched a few months uh, later, and asked what tree and show show him, and he said there was a orb over that tree. Uh. That he was he was a paranormal investigator. So. Oh yeah, yeah. About bachelors. I believe so. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. He actually uh, was filming us talking about the tree. Oh wow. Yeah, his name was Peter. So, did you show share or any kind of evidence that might have happened, and you mind sharing with us? Um. Mainly, Bill has a lot of evidence when we go on investigations. The the weirdest one, though, when we went to Axman's Bridge, we actually, on a, a tape recorder, we got someone screaming. I remember that. Oh, they sent me chills. Oh, we were in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you should I don't know, it's weird. And, and when getting to it, the tape recorder kept going on and off in his backpack. That was a weird night. I had to ground myself after that one. Oh, but yeah, that reminds me of the time when that actually happened to me when I was back on the Queen Mary ship. Um, I forgot I had a recorder. <laughs> so it turned itself on and off. And you know what we got? What? It repeated the same thing. Nicole, can you hear us? Wow. I get asked that by spirit cells all the time. Yeah. Nicole, can you hear us? Yeah. I think I still have it. What is the if I do have it, I'll share with you guys. Uh, remember when we used to do scrying? Oh, yeah. I miss when that. we had that that picture. <laughs> Bill called him Peter up. Pan. Bill called him Peter Pan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bill said he remembered that. Yeah, you want to share a little bit what Ryan is and what we did? Oh yeah, yeah. It, you you had like a smoke machine, correct? Uh, it was kind of like a thing that a jet. That goes in the water, and it makes it steam up. Steam up, yeah, and, and you had a black mirror. <laughs> yeah, I had it. Oh, I still have it. If I can show you guys. It, and then that, that uh, face uh, popped up. Yeah, that, that was it, yes. And remember the, that image that Bill circled of a face? Oh, yeah, it's crazy. It was, yeah. crazy things. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That that was like a full moon thing. What is it about full moons, total eclipses of the heart? Just kidding. A total eclipse. I mean, what is it? Is that you, Do you think that is like a good hundred of energies that will like bring about? So I think the thing with the full moon is that the, the, it's the <laughs> highest. <laughs> Sorry. And it charges up the energy. And that's why people either flake out on full moons. And and you ever notice, like, hurricanes on a full moon ramp up pretty high. Huh, I never know that. It has to do with the energy. Yeah, I always wondered about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. We had to reboot with that. I missed those days. <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 yeah. Those days. <laughs> we'll, we'll start back off. Yeah, I mean, it's just a tape break now and then. Cause, you know, life happens and we have... Uh, oh, yeah, break. things happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And regroup and rejuvenate, re... Uh, mm -hmm. what, what's that word? Reground ourselves. Re or revamp it, I call it. There you go, revamp. <laughs> but never quit, right? So. Yeah. Even though sometimes we do feel like quitting, but at least we had to revamp ourselves and. Mm hmm. In your words, re. Revamp everything. Revamp! <laughs> yeah. But yeah, getting back. Also, too, I used to work at a haunted uh, racetrack. Let me know if anything pops up. Bill just wrote, most definitely will. <laughs> I worked at a um, haunted racetrack. Ooh, what was that like? No, my sharing. 
Balmoral, it, it was pretty interesting. It, I had some weird, scary vibes on that. And I think it was also an old Indian barrel ground land. Hey, I, I get those kind of vibes whenever I just pass through the old theater that's not only supposed to be haunted. It's only like a mile yeah. from here. Oh, okay. So I totally understand what you mean by those vibes. <laughs> Well, when I worked there, and I knew somebody else worked there, and I heard uh, footsteps. And that was the first time I ever heard footsteps. I went, and it led to the men's washroom. I looked, and there was nobody around. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then I heard from other people, the they used to have TVs, and they would turn on and off. Mine still did that. Yeah. <laughs> Never my TV was like, not only do that, but it would change on its own, or it'll start to echo. I mean, yeah. no TV device would echo, right? Unless there's something making it do it. Right, right. Even Bill found that out. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you guys want a haunted TV? I got one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a haunted house. Hey, there you go. Yeah, the... The le the recent one was I had a clock that fell off the wall. Oh, I don't have about a month ago. Thing. Remember that one time you told me where uh, I don't know if you saw it or heard it, but you told me there's a soap that flew off. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was in the bathroom and I had a bar of soap that flew at me and I caught it. And I didn't say anything after like, that. Well, I had those reflexes as well. Yeah, one time I was in high school, right, and we were in a small room, and someone actually threw a hardball at me, and I went, boom, I caught it. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, damn. <laughs> they never did that again. Oh, yeah. I, I remember hardball. going to the pantry, and I was thinking about spaghetti, and a box of spaghetti fell out the, the pantry. I think I remember that. Yeah. Wasn't there also you had some candy like on top of your fridge or something? That yeah, I I, 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 I had a chocolate on. cross and it fell off the um, refrigerator. It felt like it looked like a, a leaf falling. Oh, wow. And were you able to, to film these or no? You just... no, no, they, they happened so quick. Yeah, I tell you, it's hard to film paranormal activity. You would almost have to have those security cameras, like, 24-7, like, my good friend, uh, David Oman. Uh, I mean, he yeah. had crazy stuff. And I've been there to his house. I mean, it's an amazing house. When you guys come out here, we gotta go there. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I'll take you there. Queen Mary, and, you know... <laughs> Yeah, I, I like to investigate, yeah. Like I said, I'm, I'm new to everything, so. Oh, by the way, that's my cousin. I was, it wasn't a ghost. <laughs> it's my cousin. <laughs> ah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so there's another place up north we had to go to. Also, to the Winchester Mystery House. I I've been there. Going back there. <laughs> Me too. Especially with, now that we've developed and this is leading towards the question, don't worry, <laughs> um, our psychic abilities. Uh, when, when did you first develop your psychic abilities? You know, my story? Um, I know for one fact, when they got, it gotten heightened, I was a, in a really dark area in my life. I was trying to end my life. Uh, I've been there. Yeah, and I wound up in ICU. And the nurse goes, you know you coded last night. And that's when my psychic abilities were in heightened. Did she mean by uh, flatline or was it? Yeah, I died and oh, came hey. back. Oh, hey. I always wonder what that meant. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I died and came back because they had to resuscitate me. Oh, wow. And ever since then, everything got in hiding. 
I can see stuff that would happen in the future. And it, it, it scared me. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, it is scary at first, and we don't know what the heck is going on. You know, until, um, excuse me, until later on we do our homework and everything. It's like, I always read, I was reading a lot, and I, I read a lot about astrology and numerology. Were you ever interested in that as well? Astrology, yes. Yes. But I couldn't remember them all or the meaning of them, so I wasn't really into astrology as much. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know of them, but it's n Is there a question? Oh, Bill said he... Well, I remember not throwing anything at you now. <laughs> That's what Bill said. What now? He said he rem he'll remember not to throw anything at me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, funny, Bill. <laughs> Have you Bill is just sad out. Hey Bill. Hey Bill. <laughs> so anyway, what was I gonna say? Oh, going back to the um uh, that location. Uh the Aspen Bridge, right? You might share what happened there? The X Men Bridge, yeah. Um we had a hard time finding a house, but we did. But that had it was an eerie feeling that day. He said, "Hey, and oh, it's wow. it was I, I just I I felt like a psychic attack." Oh, I hate those. <laughs> yeah, so it, it took me a while to calm down after that one. Did you mind sharing? Um, I had one recently myself, and you yeah. made they're kind of like. In a way, they're kind of like panic attacks, but you might hear yes. the difference. Yeah, that, that it, it felt like a panic attack, and it felt like um, someone was watching me, and it was just I, I had a bad feeling. And Bill took two pieces of uh, cement from where the house used to be. Oh, was it that? I thought it was a break he took. Yeah. Wow, I remember that. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, there's someone said, Kristen, you're a great paranormal investigator. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. And go Bill, ahead. I don't know what Bill did with it, but he said he had readings off of that. I think he returned it eventually. Yeah, and the rumor had it he killed all his, his family and the dog. Oh, wow. And that's what the background, and they burned down the house. That's crazy. Maybe yeah, that it place is. itself or the land might have been cursed in a way. I, I think the land is cursed there. So there's like a lot of myths, energy, especially dark ones, where they did a lot of witchcraft and who knows mm -hmm. what else. <laughs> And Bachelor's Grove, they did a lot of Saint uh, worshiping there, and also non uh, Saint worshiping there too. Oh right, right, right. So that's just the mixed feeling that I was getting there. Yeah, there it, it, it's it's a mixed bag over there. Oh, um, going back to to uh, second attack. When I had mine recently, it's the first one ever, hopefully the last. Mm -hmm. What I experienced is like, you can't move. I was laying down, of course. You can't move. And it felt like something was sitting on top of my chest and just holding my neck. And then, I heard my name, Nikki. My name, mm -hmm. Nikki. Like that. I'm like, okay, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. So, when I... Uh, when I Go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was say that's a pretty creepy um, message. I mean, I've had creepy messages, but that's tops it, you know. <laughs> oh, and Bill said uh, he remembers that. And uh, what was and that? Was that? Yeah, Aspen Bridge. Yeah. So oh, yeah. when I when I feel like that, someone taught me a long time ago. 
say five feet away, I need my space. That usually helps me. So it might help somebody else. I have to remember to say that. <laughs> because you know, you, you you you're in control of the spirit. Because the spirit doesn't control you. Right, and they have to have permission and never give that permission. <laughs> right, yeah, that that that's bad juju. Hey, you never know, it should be a prankster spirit and it should be an evil one. That's pretty rare though, but you just never know. And don't yeah. take that chance, you know? <laughs> right, right, yeah. Oh yeah, we and know you what should... you meant, Bill. Sorry. He said hi, Bill. <laughs> I knew <laughs> what he meant. Because you should always ground yourself when you go to an investigation. Because you don't know what you're going to bring home. That's true. And speaking of grounding, do you like meditate as well? And then grounding? Yeah. I like to do that myself. And Not sage. only for investigation, but like in my case, every day, because my medium and building gets crazy sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that's when I know that's when I take time out for myself. Did you ever do that? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I, I listen on Google, like certain um, like environmental sounds and all that. That helps me grounded. I like white noise. I'm weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bill, okay, says, tell, he... tell them about the guy in the mirror you have with that hitting guy. Oh, Kenny? Yeah, um, I have Not an Kenny old Zink. mirror. Ken <laughs> Kenny Zink? Yeah. Not Kenny uh, he Zink, took a <laughs> Kenny G, yeah, he'll put me to sleep. <laughs> I saw him when so, he was talking so Me ahead. too. So, um, I have a, mi a mirror on a jewelry box. And he took a picture. You remember the picture that you saw on the scrawling? I think so, yeah. It's the same exact picture, bless you, in that mirror, was wow. in that mirror at my house, too. And mirrors, a lot of people believe that to be spirit portals, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even one of these oh. mirrors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking yeah. about mirrors, okay. I, I liked watching Haunted uh, Collector years ago. Remember that show? Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, and I think he's any related to the Warrens. Johnny Zappis, yeah. Yeah. So, I've, I've I seen mean, an episode... I've seen... I, I seen the episode when they were using the mirror facing the window. Oh, right. So... I had an old mirror facing a window. So I was sitting downstairs with Brandon. And all of a sudden I hear this crash. So it was a, the mirror fell off, off the eye hook. And the mirror landed straight up. Oh, wow. And when I heard it, it, and it sounded like a heavy set person walked up, walked up to the mirror and slapped it off where it was. And it hit a cat door and it swung it back and forth. And shattered the mirror into three spots. Wow, that's crazy. There's my boy. Yeah, I, I, I threw out that mirror, but I showed it to Daniel Class. He's the one that owns the Hinsdale house. Oh, wow. Uh, and he, he, he looked at it and he said, wow. And I still have the scratch marks where that uh, mirror fell. Dang. So that tells that, you what powerful like, spiral is in this house. And that was like in your basement, right? Or was it in No, it was upstairs in the attic yeah. where I'm at. In the yeah. attic bedroom. And that's where you feel most of the activity, right? Or, or it's the throughout the house. Throughout the house. 
Yeah, it's crazy. And Bill caught some orbs in the basement. Oh yeah, remember that. Yeah. We we even caught uh, two women. Uh, no, sorry, a man and a woman saying "Don't go," and then one said "Stay." I wound up in the hospital with a nasty staph infection. Any questions yet, or? Bill said, "Yeah, I remember that." <laughs> and then I wound up in the hospital. I remember that, yeah. <laughs> and then. When I was in the hospital, I had my cane at the time because I had back surgery. The cane fell. I had it leaning against the wall. Oh. It fell against fell against the wall, hit the ground. Someone gave me magazines to look at, and it, it, the spirit was thumbing through the magazine. The poor kid that did dietary. Kind of laughed and left the room quick. <laughs> I don't blame <laughs> Yeah, so the hospital was haunted too. Wow, that's probably why I never liked hospitals. You know, yeah. I've been in and out of hospitals myself growing up. Right. Oh man, that's crazy. Or maybe yeah. that spirit followed you or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or attached because I hate to say. I Attachment, yeah, it's not like a demon or anything. No, I had that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm attracted to, to spirits. Yeah, you and I both were like spirit magnets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whenever I went to uh, my first trip to uh, uh, Florida Disney World, remember that last? Is this last year? And then that yeah. first night in that hotel, I forgot to name the hotel. That first night, I kid you not, I heard a state of knots coming from their closet. Yeah. And then later on that same evening, I woke up saying, Red. <laughs> oh, wow. First, first time, not red rum. Red. <laughs> it's just red. <laughs> you know, red rum. Stay away from big wheels. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's the first time. And since then, I've been talking in my sleep. Never done yeah. that before. When I was younger, but until I was in Florida last year, that's when it happened. I started talking in my sleep. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, Bill wrote something. What your darkness experience? Oh, what would be your darkness experience you had? Darkness? It like would be darkest, a... uh, scariest or experience that you um, had. Again, at Bachelors, it, it took me a long time I would say. <laughs> to uh, shake that experience because it took me years to get that bad juju out. I mean, it took me, I, I, I was hooked on drugs for a little bit, and I, I healed that past with the Reiki and everything else. It, 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 took, it took a lot of years. And now oh, I'm back yeah, to being yeah. myself. Yeah, as long as you don't give it any attention and you just ignore it, it's no. just, it will yeah. basically go away, hopefully. <laughs> like you yeah, as long as you heal more. it. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, what, what would be your favorite um, horror movies or books that you like to share with us? Um, my favorite... I, I liked Poltergeist. All my favorite, old time favorite, <laughs> besides the Conjuring. I I liked Annabelle Horror. That was still creepy, AF. <laughs> yeah. You know the Annabelle. I just I don't know. It's just more creepier than the Conjuring. But the Conjuring, the first one I believe, is, you know, it comes to the real cases of the morning cases. To ask you mm -hmm. like, what it was. Yes. And uh, so we have another question here. Um, how old were you when you was in media? Like, when did you find out about that? You had a building. Uh, it had to be like five. 
because I was drawn to yeah. certain areas. I remember drawing a house with dormers when I was little. And then all of a sudden, I have dormers in my house. So stuff like that, when I was real little, I was, I'm, I'm shy. And when I think things, and they come true. That happens to me, I think I told, uh, I cannot pronounce it for the life of me. It's a word to it, um, Telepathic? To... <laughs> I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> okay. Silver Sin City? Oh my god. Oh, uh, Symmetry? Geometry? No. <laughs> Everything that if anybody know. knows, type it in the comment. Please, Jamie, that like, we think things and we manifest it. I'm like, whoa! It's like one time I, I had that experience when I was watching a video of David Omen, and would you know it? I was there the next week. Yeah. <laughs> I believe oh my it. God. <laughs> I believe we could, it. We could think about winning a lottery. Maybe that would help. Let's see. <laughs> but, but I don't play the lottery, so good luck. I play once in right well. I, I had people give me lottery tickets. Oh, really? <laughs> I only won one dollar once. Oh, one time I found, like, a lot of money on the ground, and no one ever claimed it, so... Of course I wouldn't give it back if someone... Yeah. Me, you know. That's when I was working, so we had to turn in whatever we found. So yeah. So, you know, basically give it back, so, yeah, I'm pretty honest. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think that was Bill saying, well, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> so, of course, I'd like to ask, um, before you run out of time, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. The hours flown by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, we have... Good evening, I almost said good morning. Good evening, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hey guys, welcome. Thank you for tuning in and like, share and everything. I'm talking to my good friend, Kristen Hope. She's a fellow medium psychic and a paranormal investigator. And we're talking about paranormal experiences. And so what would be your preferred way? I believe this would be a nice closing uh, question. Uh, what would be your preferred way of um, clearing your energy? Like, on a mission surrounding, what would be your way of clearing out those energies? To clear out the bad energy or to reground? Yeah, in, in general, in both. <laughs> well, to reground, I sometimes I take my shoes off and ground on the uh, grass. I soak in the sun and I picture roots growing out of my feet into the soul of the earth. And then at night I would listen to like ocean sounds or certain, like you said, white noise to ground. Mm -hmm. And then I use sage. And then sometimes I use certain crystals like a quartz crystal. Yeah, my am I'm always showing my crystal. <laughs> oh, you want to see yeah, my stuff little like leprechaun? That. Hello. I had a leprechaun somewhere, but I, I guess he <laughs> got lost. He's supposed to bring that, but I don't know. Yeah? I don't know. And there's none of my favorite stone I like. Is it that? Oh, cool. Yeah, that's and nice. It's also the same crystal, but it's a pyramid. It says, Bill here, I have the black one that he sent me. It's a black obsidian crystal, which is good for grounding with, maintaining with ah. protection. And that's the same kind of crystal. So that, and speaking of crystals, real quick, what would be your favorite crystals? Um, Tigerite, Quartz, um, that's all I can think of right now. I forget. Oh yeah, this is a black obsidian. Yeah, um, no. black obsidian. 
always give her protection. <laughs> yes, yes. I wear my Jane pendant, my and my other Saint Michael. Uh, mm -hmm. what do you call it? Protection. All right. I kind of short, but anyway, I have a. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for listening to yep. us. Is there anything else, like any shout outs or any um, thing you'd like to play in before we leave? Um, no. I, I like to thank the people that ask questions and going to share the video. And like I said, I'm new to everything and stay positive. Hey, Summer. Hey, everybody in the house. All right. We still have a, you know, you, you, moment. What would be, all right. Hmm? What would be, uh, before I forget it, yeah, about that age. Don't, don't mind me. <laughs> I'll be 51 in May. Um. I'll be 55 in May. Woo, Jim Um, <laughs> what is on your bucket list of locations to go to? Local or abroad? Um, I would like to go to Ireland to see some of the haunted uh, Ireland. castles. Or, or England, too. Yeah, England, UK, definitely. Um, locally, I would like to see, um, the Stanley Hotel is one. Yes. Um, another one would be... What what is that? Transagini um asylum. Oh right. right. You ever heard of the Sally House? I was this yes. close of going once so we gotta go there. <laughs> yeah. And um I w would like to get a hold of the old Joliet State Prison and do one of their tours. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because I, I know that place out, is haunted. Out of dress. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been by it. My mom and dad, God rest their souls, they went in it. I did too. It's, you feel a lot of energy from me that morning. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I bet. I could feel it when I drove by it. Wear your crystal and you know, that's before you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I do when I go to those places. I make sure I rub myself and all that. And I also want to see in Vegas that haunted playground in Nevada. Oh yeah, and the and the haunted museum. We had to go there mm -hmm. when we um our other friend Sheena. Hey Sheena, if you're watching, um, we should like go like the old grill, like so fun. <laughs> yeah, and I would like to see the Titanic exhibit. Yeah, the Titanic. You know, I Any think questions? I've seen it. I think I've seen it. But in Vegas. I've I've seen it in Chicago and I've seen it down in Texas. I'm trying to burn. Yeah, I think I've seen it in Vegas. Titanic. I remember touching the side of the sh um, ship. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember I... touching uh, touching my hand on that uh, cold iceberg. Oh, yeah, that and that too. Yeah, I don't know why whenever I go to those places, I like to feel the place. You know, um, it, you ever it had an eerie, eerie feeling to it. It had oh, like it that does. sad, gray, eerie feeling. Hi, uh, someone Nathaniel. had a question. Hi, Nathaniel. I'm sorry, I'll bring him back up. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. And he said, uh, been to Sally House. Oh, that's on my bucket list to the house. You've been there a dozen times. Uh, Julia is way, is way better. Yeah, um. I, I would like go to ahead. go to the Bel Air house, too. Oh, the Bel Air house, yeah. He said he investigated the Bobby Mac. Oh, yeah, Bobby Mackey's. Um, oh, yeah, that I would like to go there, too. I said Bobby, hey, Bobby. I said about my, my friend who left here. He's cool. Um. He does embody back his musical world, and it's amazing. Lot. Oh, I bet there's a lot of en energies <laughs> oh, and yeah. activity there. <laughs> yeah, I remember that from a uh, Joseph Baker's day were there, and uh, 
I remember hitting some places that those adventures went to, like Winchester House, Queen Mary. Um, yeah, I've been to Winchester. I've been I to also Queen been to the Grand uh, Grand Canyon. Oh, I haven't been there yet. It's beautiful. Hopefully one day go to those places. <laughs> but anyway, well, it's been over an hour, so I really appreciate your time and everything Many for times. being with us. <laughs> Hopefully my yeah. voice is holding up. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching or listening wherever you are. Yeah. Let us know where thank you're you. listening. And you'll get to replay this as well. And, you yes. know, it'll be on Spotify, Anchor, it'll be on YouTube, we're everywhere. <laughs> we're going to listen to the radio news, whatever. Anyway, I'll let you guys know. Somebody would like to share my next Yes, sometimes I'll keep, keep it a mystery. But this time, um, he's one of my good friends uh, and also a writer. And he is also a, he prefers to be called a seer rather than a medium. And um, so I want to give a shout out to Rick Wayne. Hey, he's going to be our guest next week. <laughs> but anyway, you can stick around if you like. First thing we can chat when I turn it uh, live off. And yeah, thank okay. you guys. Thank you guys so much. That means a lot. Great thank live, you for watching. Woohoo. Thanks. Have a great and safe week and happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. Yep. And we'll see you on the dark side. It's hitting. We'll see okay. you next see video. Ya, see you when we see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Have a good night, guys. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Stay tuned for next week with Rick Wade. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>